Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Since 1940, helicopters have become a mainstay, facilitating troop and equipment movement in both battlefield conditions and during normal operations. The Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk is a twin-engine military helicopter that has been in service since the late 1970s. The Blackhawk boasts a 50-foot-long fuselage and can reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. Known for its versatility and 9,000 pound carrying capacity, the Black Hawk can safely transport 11 seated troops in and out of a combat zone. It can be equipped with a range of rockets, missiles, and other weapons depending on the mission's requirements. In recent years, the U.S. military has sought out new uses for helicopters of all sizes and types. This, in turn, has led to new partnerships and new designs like the Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant. This compound medium lift helicopter is still under development but looks likely to join the next phase of the United States Army's vertical lift program. This refers to a plan to develop a new family of helicopters sharing common hardware to replace aging models like the AH-64 Apache, the CH-47 Chinook, and even the Black Hawk. The Defiant is intended to have a cruise speed of 280 miles per hour, thanks to its unique pusher motor design. This will also offer a 50% better performance in high hot hover operations. Flight tests of the SB-1 Defiant show the aircraft's unique capabilities, including enhanced speed and maneuverability. Here you can see the helicopter being prepped for yet another demonstration. It's coaxial rotors moving in opposite directions. Both hovering and forward flight are extremely smooth, while its external load capabilities are so far rated to around 5,300 pounds. Perhaps most impressive is the helicopter's ability to land and take off in extremely confined spaces a feature that will prove incredibly helpful when it begins serving in frontline operations. Other tests confirm the SB-1's ability to bank at up to 60 degrees and to perform quick brake turns when required. It has also performed tests with just one rotor operational. On January 13, 2020, the Defiant X performed its first speed test, during which it achieved speeds over 115 miles per hour for the first time. Later trials would see it more than double this rate of speed with little issue. This video also provides an excellent close-up view of the Defiant's low-level maneuverability, which will help it employ new evasive tactics in the field. When it comes to quickly moving troops and cargo from one place to another, the U.S. military puts a lot of trust in the Tilt Rotor V-22 Osprey.
vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that function as part helicopter, part airplane. The Osprey is the result of a collaboration between Bell and Boeing. The MV-22 is easily one of the most versatile aircraft in existence, combining the functionality of a conventional helicopter with the range and speed of a turboprop aircraft. At around 57 feet long, the Osprey can carry up to 32 troops at a time. It can also carry up to 20,000 pounds via its internal cargo hold and up to 15,000 pounds externally. Perhaps most importantly, the Osprey can reach speeds up to 350 miles per hour. Bell and Lockheed Martin recently began collaboration on a new tilt rotor aircraft which may fly alongside and eventually replace the V-22. It's been dubbed the V-280 Valor and like the SB-1 Defiant, it's part of the future vertical lift program. Valor had its first flight in December of 2017 and has proved very impressive as far as its potential combat capabilities are concerned. The V-280 is roughly the same size as the Osprey and boasts a cruise speed of around 320 miles per hour. As a second generation tilt rotor aircraft designed by the same company, a lot of knowledge went into making the Valor more versatile, more maneuverable, and able to quickly adjust to different mission types. The Valor also has a larger range and a higher hovering ceiling. Perhaps most importantly, the V-280 is heavily modular and can fold up small enough to fit into a C-130 cargo bay. Though the companies developing the V-280 have a long history of providing aircraft to the military, the V-280 prototype has undergone extensive testing to make sure it's the right tool for the jobs the military needs it to perform. Here you can see a rifle squad from the 2506th Infantry, 3rd Brigade Combat Team testing out the aircraft and providing feedback to designers. The V-280 can only carry about 14 soldiers. However, Bell and Lockheed Martin are anxious to solve problems while they are still in the design phase rather than having to modify their design years later. Programs like this allow the actual soldiers and maintenance teams to interact with the engineers and give specific advice on how the aircraft can be improved or modified. At the moment, the U.S. military's largest helicopter is the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion. First introduced in 2015, this massive heavy lift aircraft is the latest evolution in the CH-53 series, which has been in service in one way or another since the late 1960s.
The King Stallion boasts a 73-foot-long fuselage, capable of carrying up to 30 passengers or troops. It's rated to hold up to 36,000 pounds via its center tow hook, or 25,000 pounds using its fore and aft hooks. Though it boasts a cruise speed of just 200 miles per hour, it has an extensive range of around 530 miles and a service ceiling of 16,000 feet. The King Stallion's superior cargo carrying abilities allow it to move Humvees and other tactical vehicles from place to place easily and efficiently. It also has mid-air refueling capabilities to further expand its range and keep it in the fight longer if needed. Keeping helicopters like the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion in top condition takes a concerted effort from maintenance and ground crews like those seen here at Mountain Home Air Force Base, Idaho. fuselage, engine, and other parts of these aircraft are often put under extreme duress, which makes it all the more important to identify and deal with potential problems as soon as possible. To save space, Various parts of the aircraft's tail and rotors can be folded up to run parallel with the fuselage. Whether they're decades old or still being tested, helicopters are essential to the way modern militaries operate. Where airplanes require adequate space to land and take off, these vertical aircraft operate from even the most bare bones of environments. Providing they have fuel and a crew, they can make multiple trips to and from the battlefield, move troops from one place to another, or carry heavy equipment into the fray. As the U.S. military's future vertical lift program grows and expands, we're likely to see some of the most advanced, capable helicopters ever designed take flight with the Army, Navy, and Marines. We're also likely to see more tilt rotor aircraft, as they represent the perfect mix between speed and vertical takeoff capabilities. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.